All right, this video is going to be on the chain rule. All right. <clears throat> it's not too bad. I actually got a pretty interesting way to help you to remember this. So hopefully, hopefully it works. Let's get into it. All right, so your chain rule. Kind of like your beat up the guy and steal his car rule. You'll see what I mean in a minute. You'll see what I mean in a minute. <clears throat> Alright, so let's review the, the three previous rules we've done and then I'll get into chain rule. So if you had something just like x to the fourth, to find the derivative of that, you're simply going to use the power rule to get 4x cubed. If you had something like x squared sine of x, all right, for that, you're going to use the product rule. If I can spell today. So that's... 1 times d2 plus 2 times d1. Now, if you had something like, say, x squared over x cubed minus 1, well, of course, there, since you're dividing the two, you're going to use quotient rule. Which, of course, is low times d high minus high times d low over low squared. Now, but what happens if you have a function in a function, such as the square root of the sine of x? Now for this, you're going to use the chain rule. Alright, you use the chain rule when you have a function inside a function. Alright, and you're actually going to take the derivative multiple times of multiple things. Let's get into an example. All right, here's an example. Let's look at the function 3x plus 1 squared. Alright, so you have a couple steps here that you're going to have to take. Number one, you're going to have to look at the outside function. What the outside function would be your parentheses squared. Okay, this is the outside. All right, you can look at this as the windows of the guy's car. All right. So for step one, you're going to smash the windows. You're going to whip out your chain, because this is the chain rule after all. You're going to whip out your chain and smash his windows. All right. And of course, when you smash the windows, you're smashing the windows of the outside of the car. So the first thing to do is take to do, is take to the deri uh, sorry, take the derivative of the outside function. So keep all this the same inside. In fact, you can just look at this as a big old x. So we have x squared. What's the derivative of x squared? Well, it's two x, so to speak, in quotes. So plus three x plus one. Then, of course, you'd subtract 1 from the top, so this would be a 1. Alright, so that's the, first, that's the first thing. You're going to smash the windows so you can get inside. Alright, this is your inside function. Or this is the guy in the car that you're trying to carjack. Maybe he's got a Ferrari. Maybe he's got a Bugatti. You never know. Alright, maybe he's got a camouflaged you know, Chevy Silverado jacked up on some 33s or something, and you just want it real bad. All right. So for step two, you gotta you gotta yank the guy out of the car and you gotta beat him up so you can take his so you can take his ride. All right. So beat up the guy. All right. So when you beat up the guy, you're actually dragging him from the inside of the car. So you take the derivative of the inside function. Well, what's the derivative of 3x squared, I mean, sorry, what's the derivative of 3x plus 1? Well, derivative of 1 is 0, derivative of 3x is just 3. Alright, 
So now as you're driving away, you're putting this all together thinking maybe this wasn't the best idea to carjack somebody for his Silverado pickup truck jacked up on 33s with some camouflage or something. All right, so you're putting this all together in your head. So it's going to be 2 times 3x plus 1 times 3, which simply equals 6 times 3x plus 1, or 18x plus 6. All right, I would take this one or this one as correct. I would want to see this as an um, intermediate, intermediary step to get to either this answer or this answer, but I would not just want this as your answer. All right, I would want either this or this. Okay? So, there's your rule. That's your chain rule. So you start out, you start, you, you smash the windows. You're trying to get into the guy's car. You want to steal his car. So first thing you got to do is you got to defeat the outside. So you got to smash the windows. So take the derivative of the outside function because we're breaking the function breaking the function down to get its derivative. So you smash the windows. So you take the derivative of the outside function, which you can look at it, look at it as this is an x squared function. So the derivative is 2 times x. x in this case is 3x plus 1. So that's why we get 2 times 3x plus 1, and technically there's a, a 1 right here for an exponent. Then you beat the guy up inside the car. So you take the derivative of the inside of the function, that's 3, and then as you're driving away, you're putting this all together in your head, and you're wondering why on earth that you did this, you're probably going to go to jail for a really long time. So you multiply the two together, and you end up with either 6 times 3x plus 1, or 18x plus 6. Alright. So, I'm going to have you try one. I want you to find the derivative of the sine of x cubed. Alright, find me the derivative of the sine of x cubed. Pause the video for about five seconds. Pause the video and then I'll start talking in about five seconds from now. Alright, first thing you gotta do. Step one is you got to break the glass. All right, smash into it. Maybe it's a BMW. You know, BMW stands for break my window after all. So you got to break the glass. All right. So when you break the glass, you're taking the, der the derivative of the outside. So this is the outside. So this is kind of like an x cubed function. So the derivative of x cubed is 3 x squared. Our x in this case is sine x. All right, so there's the first part. Now remember, the this part here, when you do the when you when you break the glass, you do the first part. You don't change the function on the inside. All right, you don't change the inside function. All right, because right now we've just broken the glass. We haven't actually started to assault the guy yet to take his car. All right, so you're not changing anything on the inside yet. And then step two is the assault and battery step. Alright. So you're going to beat the guy up in the car and you're going to steal his car. So the inside function is right here, which is sine x. Alright, that's the inside function. That's your guy on the inside of the car. Now you're going to take derivative of that which is simply cosine x. Alright, now put it all together. It's going to be 3 times the sine x squared times cosine of x. And that is the final answer. Alright. You can't break it down, you can't simplify it, you can't go any further than this. This is the final answer. Alright. 3 sine of x squared times cosine x. Now, I would take this as 3 sine squared x 
cosine x because of course sine squared x written this way and sine x, sine of x squared written that way is the same exact thing. All right, let's put this in parentheses to make it a little bit more legible. So yes, there's your final answer. All right, now what happens when you have a function and a function and a function? Well, you, I see the bewildered look on your face. Just kidding, this is a screencast, it's pre-recorded, it depends to you and all. Alright, so here you go. So here we have an x, what looks like an x to the fourth, and then we have a sine of x, and then here we have x squared inside the sine of x. So now we're going to have three steps. Okay, we're going to have step one, step two, and step three. All right, now, so basically now what this guy's done is he's paranoid now, so he's bought a, bought a new house, he bought himself a new a new Ferrari, and now he's putting it in his garage. All right, so now we have to break into the garage. So now our outside function is the garage door. All right, yes, I spelled garage wrong, I don't really care. All right, so now now the outside function is the outside the garage door. So now what we have to do is chainsaw through the garage door. All right. Yes, that'd probably make a lot of noise and alert the neighbors and you get the cops caught on you, but for the sake of this, nobody's going to hear you chainsawing the garage door. All right. So take the derivative of the outside function, which would be 4. Remember, don't change anything on the inside. Copy the inside verbatim for the first step. All right. So, just imagine this as x to the fourth. You'll get 4x cubed. All right. 4x cubed. Don't change this. Now, step two. Now you got to break the glass to get into the car. All right. So now we take the derivative of the inside. All right, because that's the glass. So this is this is kind of the middle layer. It's not the, it's not really the inside. It's the middle layer. All right. Middle layer. So this is the glass to get into the car. So we we change all the garage door. Now we got to break the glass. So take the derivative. So the derivative of sine is cosine. Now remember, leave the x squared alone. It's it's sine of x. This whole consider this whole thing x. Sine of x. Derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Okay. Now for the third step, now after you break the glass, you realize, hey, this guy's sleeping in his car. He has this nice, you know, five hundred thousand dollar home, but he's sleeping in his car. So now we gotta assault the guy to be able to steal his car. So that's where you go to the inside. You drag them out of the inside of the car so you can actually get in and steal the car. All right, so the inside is x squared. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. All right, and now you put all this together. There's really not much combining here. You're going to have 4 times the sine of x squared cubed times the cosine of x squared times 2x. Now, the 2x and the 4 you, we can combine. So we have 8x times the sine of x squared cubed times the cosine of x squared. Alright. So that's your final answer right here. Okay, although in this case, since this is so long, I would take this, all right, but if this was just, say, this times 2x, I would want you to combine it to the 8x, but since this is so long, I would probably, I would take this as well, all right, but just remember, simplifying is always better, all right, just make sure you simplify correctly, 
Make sure you simplify correctly. All right. Now I'm going to give you all a tick in the door. I know I haven't done this in a while. And of course, this is going to use chain rule. So that's what we've been going over. And Josh, I'm sorry, there's not a shortcut way for this. You just have to go as is. So I want you to find the derivative of, let's see what I want to give you. Let's go with tangent of 2x squared to the fifth. All right, so you should take it in the door, find, me, find the derivative of tangent of 2x squared all to the fifth. Make sure you have this ready when you walk in the door tomorrow. And good luck.